All right, Lamar A's Mo Great Society Ministries. And then I'm on, um, in addition to the uh, P.O. Box, I'm basically on every social media platform. Well, not every, um, obviously, but the big ones, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm on uh, the social media platforms. I'm, I'm really not going to use that for much uh, contact, but if it, I prefer my uh, P.O. Box. So you got P.O. Box 154, Mooresville, North Carolina. Two seven five six zero. If you have information or research that you want to share, or if you just want to do correspondence, uh, I wouldn't be sad if you fold up a dollar bill or some change, and um, you know, add it to the contribution. But if not, that's also fine. Your um, commentary is is good, also. Now, moving along, we were we we're talking about the genocide against the first peoples of the Western Hemisphere using the source American Holocaust, in addition to just the general knowledge, which we'll probably touch on in other uh, videos. Then there's other sources that are more polite and more, um, they use more euphemisms. But this will be an ongoing discussion because in addition to the tribe, everyone else, not everyone else, but Ethnicities from around the world also engage in scumbaggery, as uh, Vinny Eastwood says. It's another good channel you should check out. Uh, he's from New Zealand. I think he uh, leans right, but as I always say, um, it's good that we're ambient. Us in the alternative media, we, we really need to um, attack. We're all trying to slay the same beast, and it, it's good to attack it from different angles, and it's good to team up and work together on things we can agree on, like people printing money out of thin air and charging us interest on it is a bad idea. I think no matter what the political stripe, we could agree on at least that. Um, the tribe controlling us, there's some people, even on the right, who uh, love the tribe seemingly. Um, this guy, Soul Invictus, that I just recently found out, who's with a tribe's woman named Laura Loomer or something. There's some some freaks on the right who um, are actually counterproductive and against their own cause because they love the tribe, but the tribe is actually responsible for their uh, quote-unquote replacement. Uh, but let's get into the uh, subject at hand and continue reading the highlights from my reading in order to um, have some backing to my assertions. I like to use uh, credible sources. The European habit of indiscriminately killing women and children when engaged in hostilities with the natives of the Americas was more than an atrocity. It was flatly and intentionally genocidal, for no population can survive if its women and children are destroyed. Humanity. 100 soon forced relocations. What was to become known as the Trail of Tears began under the direction it goes on to say um, Andrew Jackson, I believe. I don't know why the highlight uh, cuts off there. But, and I talked about this before, the first peoples of this hemisphere, when they were, they were kicked off a of land that, into land that was supposedly bad or unproductive land, in the case of Oklahoma, to only be kicked off of that land or bullied on that land when something of value was found or some infrastructure was needed. Same thing's happening to this day. DJ Chump is trying to give people 20 years for protesting a pipeline through their sovereign territory that's supposed to be their sovereign territory. They don't want to leave these people alone. And as one of my viewers actually commented, they're still taking the first people's children uh, under the guise of child protective services. Ridiculous stuff. But um, that's, it's sad, but that's what I expect. Um, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but that I mean, it is what it is. You know, and that's why we're talking about it now in hopes that our grassroots efforts will pretty much spread and that stuff like this will have less of a chance of happening and there will actually be respect for the people, the, the working class people, no matter what their ethnic background and the reason I say working class is because working class use the majority of the population. 
So that cuts across all races and religious beliefs. The vile people who run this horror show need to show some respect and to stop trying to make us into human cattle or destroy us. It's one of the purposes of this channel. The governor issued an emergency proclamation. Regiments of citizen soldiers were authorized to form and, and to kill any and all hostile Indians they could find. Their compensation would be whatever horses and other property they may capture. And in addition, the governor promises to use his influence to procure their payment by the general government. In effect, this was an official government license to kill any and all Indians on site, to seize their horses and other property, and then, after the fact, to claim they had been hostile. Similar things happen to this day. Problem, reaction, solution. You know, let's, let's not um, digress because I want to finish. It's only a few quotes left, and I, I run my mouth a bit in between these these um, quotes too much. Extermination against the red devils, making no distinction between those Indians who were friendly and those who were not. And then that, that goes back to those um, natives in um, what became Colorado who were promised protection and who flew an American flag and were trying to get along in the society that destroyed their way of life. Yeah, they were killed and butchered with their American flag flying. Women were scalped, children were scalped, and that's from the incident we talked about at the beginning of this series where the little boy, the three-year-old, is running from these maniacs, a three-year-old, and they take they take uh, turns shooting at this three-year-old for sport. But we're supposed to be patriots. Stand at the football game, football player, even though... You um, have uh, issues with this same system. You're supposed to respect um, evil, I guess, and, and hate good and uh, hate people who are just trying to get along with their life. They're not playing the game with you. They don't want to live under your grid, your debt slavery, because that's all we have in the West and in most of the rest of the world it's consumerism and debt slavery. People who don't want to participate in that, we're fighting wars or starving them. Conclusive, he declared that most of the Indians on the plains were indeed hostile. It was, therefore, the citizens and the military's right and obligation for which they would be duly paid to pursue, kill, and destroy them all. 700 heavily armed soldiers under the command of former Methodist missionary and still the elder in the church, Colonel John Covington, rode into Sandy, excuse me, into Sand Creek Village several months earlier. Shivington, I said Covington, I'm sorry, it was John, Colonel John Shivington, who that year was also a candidate for Congress, had announced in the speech that his policy was to kill and scalp all little and big. Nits make lice, he was fond of saying. Indeed, the phrase became a rallying cry of his troops. Since the Indians were lice, their children were nits. And the only way to get rid of lice was to kill the nits as well. Then old Chief Black Kettle, the principal leader of the Cheyenne, tied a white flag to a lodgepole, and above that, he tied an American flag that had been given to him by the Commission of Indian Affairs. He gathered his family around him, and he held the pole high again in an, attempt, in an effort to show the American soldiers that his was not a hostile camp. He kept calling out to his people not to be frightened. Robert Bent's brother, George, recalled that the camp was under the protection and there was no danger. And then suddenly the troops opened fire on, on this mass of men. The land of the free and the home of the brave. It's very brave to murder people who are surrendering to you, men, women, and children. Just kill them. They're not trying to fight you. They're trying to get along with their lives on some bad land that you so graciously let them have. So 
Let's salute to that service. Let's be super patriots. Because we, we still do. And the reason why it's still relevant is because we do stuff like this to this day. What our country's trying to do on behalf of Israel to the Iranian people is the same as this. And the other people in that region of Southwest Asia, what they're doing to the people in Yemen via their Saudi pigs of war, the Sodomite Arabians, the Lawrence Arabians, what's happening to the people of Yemen is similar. Murdering people who just, they don't want to, they're not trying to fight you, but they don't want to live under your thumb. They want to get along with their life and do their own, they want to do their own thing. You want to rob and kill them because you're brave. The massacre was on. Shivington ordered that cannons be fired into the panicked groups of Indians first. Then the troops charged on horseback and on foot. There was no more, there was nowhere for the native people to hide. The few Cheyenne and Araparo um, men in the camp tried to fight back. And Robert Ben says they all fought well. But by his own account, they were outnumbered 20 to 1 and had virtually no weapons at their disposal. Some of the women ran to the riverbank and clawed at the dirt and sand, frantically and hopelessly digging holes in which to conceal themselves or their children. After the firing, the warriors put the squads, and this is another thing they do, make up um, racial slurs. And before reading this book, I never knew they called the first people squaws. You know, they're always coming up with these terms. Now, you know, we know now the, the famous towel head or these other derogatory terms they have for the people of Iraq and uh, Israel's other other enemies. They, that's all they, they have these derogatory uh, pseudonyms that they impose on people before they do horrible things to them that they're going to blame for those people later. So <laughs> I'm, I'm digressing too much. After the firing, the warriors put the squaws and the children together and surrounded them to protect them. I saw five squaws under the bank for, under a bank for shelter. When the troops came to them, they ran out and showed their persons to let the soldiers know they were squaws and begged for mercy, but the soldiers shot them all. There were some 30 or 40 squaws collected in a hole for protection. They sent out a little girl about six years old with a white flag on a stick. She had not proceeded but a few steps when she was shot and killed. You know... I'm going to stop here because I think that that proves the point. Um, and it, it actually, I know it doesn't for some of, for some of you people and the people who are familiar with my channel know who I'm referring to. So I'm not going to get into that with my limited time. This genocide was the worst genocide the world ever seen. These people Many of the, the ethno-linguistic groups were extinct after this sort of treatment. This happened from coast to coast, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, up and down the hemisphere. For capitalism, for Christianity, and for Judaism, it was all spread by the sword. That's it for now. God willing, see you in the future video. Thanks for watching.